So, many of us really appreciate Mrs. Schwer. She is just a lovely lady, isn't she? But you know what? I got heck today. Because how many of you parents got one of these yet? No. So, apparently she left them unattended up front, so I took one and then she found me later. So, Mrs. Schwer, I know what's going to happen. I know who the winners are. Um, thank you so much for the invitation to come today. I'm so excited to join you. This is my very first Spruce View Awards ceremony, so I'm really looking forward to it. A big congratulations to our award recipients, and a big thank you to the parents, and the grandparents, and the guardians out there, because I know you were there to support, uh, to guide, and I bet even push a little bit. So have a wonderful morning, and thank you so much. Okay, a couple of other honored guests we have. Uh, I have Mrs. Heather Kirkham, who is also represented at Rotary Club, and one of an award that's being presented a little later. And Bobby Joe Standard is also our parent council chair as well, in front of you as well. Thanks. Okay, so this is my second round doing the academic awards. I'm going to slow it down just a little bit this year so we make sure we get the pictures and everybody up there as well. We have our first award this morning, it's actually one that we haven't been able to award the last couple of years, and we're kind of getting back into this habit as well. It's actually going to a grade six student from last year, a couple of them in this case. This award is the Chamberlain and Hout Award. So it has been an annual event in the past, in memory of two previous students, Braden Chamberlain and Haley Hout, here at Spruce View, uh, that we recognize a grade six student for their attitude, effort, and courage. For the 2015-2016 Chamberlain and Hout Award, this time we'd like to recognize Per Vormland and Elaine Hetu. Parrots, come on right around front too, sir, if you want to picture around this way as well. Mrs. Small to come to the front to help me present the next award. Grade 7 awards from last school year. This is the academic achievement list. So this is a 70% to 79% average. Award winners for the Academic Achievement, Sasha Aragon. Nathaniel Broussard. Jesse Cooper. Liam Fletcher. Lane Murray. <laughs> Liam Severn. <laughs> Jacob Shimonic.
next category for honor roll, which is 88% to 89% for their average. I'd like to honor Tracy Edmondson. Brody Hansen. but Alexa Huden as well. Our next category is Honor with Distinction, 90% or above for their average. This time I'd like to honor Emma Leroy. Class Average Award goes also to Emma Leroy and a $50 scholarship with that as well. Our final award for the Grade 7 class from last year is our Citizenship Award. This young lady is very involved with the local 4-H club, taking a leadership role and helping others within the club. This time we'd like to call forward Tracy Edmondson before we accept the citizenship award of the Great One more round of applause and pictures for our Great Seven class from last year. Thank you, Grade Sevens. When the pictures are all complete, you may take your seat. All right, we moved to Grade Eight from last year. Normally, Mr. Amadrup, who is our camera operator in the back of the room right now, would be handing out these words. But I'm not even sure if Mr. Johansson has been made aware yet that he's presenting the Grade 8 words. Judging by the look on his face, I'm going to say no right now, too. So, I'll uh, have Mr. Johansson come to the front corner here as well to help us with our Grade 8 presentation. <laughs> Round of applause for Mr. Amadrup and Mr. Johansson. from last year, academic achievement in the 70% to 79% range for average. First honoree, Taylor Bell. percent range. Samantha Hardy. Massacot. 
Janessa Chappelle. or above, Sarah Johansson. My staff. Congratulations to Samantha Hardy for receiving this award.
Zach Stannard. Next category for us is honor roll, 80 to 89 percent. This time I'd like to honor Riley McCain. Jade Cinnamon. <laughs> Honors with distinction, 90% or above. Jasper Lind. Victoria Watson. The highest class average award for this group goes to Alex Patris with a $50 scholarship. Mrs. Heather Kirkham could come forward from our Rotary Club to the front court over here to present. Round of applause for our Rotary Club. So the Citizenship Award in Grade 9 is uh, partnered with the Rotary Youth Service Award and it comes with a gracious monetary award of $200 from the Innisfil Rotary Club. This year's recipient has always been a positive attitude and has helpful with his peers. He worked with the Community Library Summer Program helping children ages six and up with special projects. We are happy to have this award presented to Jasper Lind. Mrs. Vicki Russell comes forward to present for this group. For grade 10s, academic achievement, 70% to 79%. 
Taylor Lenny, please come forward. Kale Sievertson. Madison. 
Madison Reardon. Robbie Ferdinand. Jacob Sanch. Shaylin Turnquist. Category 80 to 89 percent, Krista Burns. Dylan Olson. and Koi Schmidt. Average award for this group goes to Koi Schmidt with a hundred dollar scholarship as well. The Grade 11 Citizenship Award recognizes a person who continually puts others first. She has been an active member of our SVS leadership team and has been instrumental with its success. She has attended many leadership conferences and doesn't hesitate to share her learned knowledge. We are proud to give this award to Robin Watson. This group's gonna have to get good at taking pictures.
pictures because you've got another event coming up in June as well where I have to announce all these names again so you guys better assume the position here too. So all the pictures good? All right, we'll let you guys take your seat. Thank you. For this to talk a little bit about our high school Rutherford Awards and some of the money that we have taken home for scholarships at this point in time. Is there a slide for that, Lucas? Here we go. All right. So you can see our grade 10 categories. I won't list off all the names at this point in time, but I did want to talk just a little bit about the Rutherford scholarships. So a student must have a minimum combined average based on five designated courses in at least one grade, grade 10, 11, or 12. A student does not need to meet this average in all three school years or in all courses to qualify for the portion of the scholarship, but the minimum average value of the award and courses that can be used depend on the year the student graduated. So there is further information on Rutherford's as well, and that's off of our school website, sprucedueschool.ca. All right, so with our Rutherford's at this point in time, I'm actually, we did a little calculation this morning too. So at this point in time in school, including our grade 12s from last year that graduated in June, we have earned $20,200 in Rutherford scholarships at this point in time too. So we are quite happy and quite impressed with our student body for that as well. So thank you to the students for working so hard in those areas as well. The next piece that I wanted to mention is related to scholarships in general, our grade 12 scholarships. So with our scholarships, we've had quite a few. We've become very active in the last year or so, thanks to Mrs. Schwerer as well for helping us with our website and helping our students go through the application processes. So with the series of scholarships that we've handed out, I'm looking at about 20 in front of me right now, our grand total as of this morning, we had one given out for wrap just as of yesterday. We are now at $14,650 in scholarships handed out in the last six months as well for our students. So again, that process for the student's benefit, maybe you haven't thought to that point yet or you're not at that grade level where it's time to consider it, but that application process and going through it can be instrumental in getting you that post-secondary piece. And it may come in many different forms. You may choose to take a different route with post-secondary, but there is lots of money to be had out there. And please access Mr. Schwer or our website. Parents, I would recommend the same thing. Check that out. There's lots going on there too for our scholarships. So we're quite proud of that. 14,650 already at this point. All right, as we conclude our ceremony this morning, we want to give a big thank you to our Ennisville Rotary Club and Mrs. Heather Kirkham for coming down for our Grade 9 Rotary Youth Service Award. We would also like to have a big thank you to the many associations and companies for our scholarships awards as well. And a big thank you goes out to our Spruce School Parent Advisory Council, Bobby Joe Standard representing up front here, and their financial support for this award ceremony for our certificates and awards as well. Thank you to the Spruce View School for our monetary awards for the highest class average. And I think without further ado, and all my thank yous at this point in time, I'd like to thank all the students one more time for all their efforts this year. And again, we will be back again next fall with our awards, so we hope to see many more on the stage at that time as well. Congratulations to everyone who was presented today. for running our video this morning, uh, Mrs. Coster for taking our pictures this morning, and Mrs. Schwer for organizing our program and the event as well. And thank you to the Green Eats for helping set up the gym this morning during their phys ed class as well. So appreciate all of that. On that note, I will let you go this morning. I'm going to have maybe our students, let's see if you're on this side of the gym over here, if you can use this exit please, and I'm going to let you guys go first.